The always hotly anticipated Judmont draft headlined the third session of the Tattersall's December mayor sale, with a total of 24 lots selling on the day for 2.8 million guineas. It was Time Saver, a daughter of Frankel and half-sister to Group One winners Time Peace and Passage of Time, who topped the draft, selling to agent Demi O'Byrne for 750,000 guineas. Underbid by Paul Shanahan, Timmy Hyde and Richard Brown of Blandford Bloodstock, the standout filly was eventually secured by the successful purchaser on behalf of Aquis, the Australian-based operation owned by the Hong Kong-based Fung family. Lord Grimthorpe, the racing and bloodstock manager for Prince Khaled Abdullah, was on hand to oversee what is always a sought-after draft at this sale. Pleased in general with how that went, Teddy? Yes, we had a good sale. We averaged 117,000, so that was above expectations, I would say. Um, and we had one or two fillies who sold exceptionally well. Talk to us about Time Saver, a good time price saver. for that one. Yes, um, but I mean, if you bring a half-sister to uh, two Group 1 winners, and she's a nice individual. She she was been busy the whole week since since she arrived on the sale grounds on Sunday, and the buyers really liked her. And so it was evident she was going to sell pretty well. But um, you you need you need two strong buyers to to do it. And um, Aquis um, have, have done a great job, and they they bought a lovely filly. Frankel is really we're so excited about what he's doing at Stud. And so you've got not only that combination, but you've got half sister to timepiece and passage of time as well, who are both top class race fillies as well. Into that, you've got time test, whose first foals look like being the business. Actually, he's made a good impression at least initially. So I, th I think there were a lot of nice combinations going on there. The second highest priced offering from the consignment was a winning daughter of Bated Breath, Wild Rye, a close relation of the Dan Silly Group 1 winner Zambezi Sun and half sister to Group 2 winner Calabar. I sell her 300. Blanford, thank you very much indeed. 300 buys. So tell us a little bit about that filly and what it was that stood out for you. Uh, look, the first dam is um, obviously huge. It's uh, not a big. Uh, Leap of faith to think that in five or ten years' time there'll be only one dam to fit on the page. Jumbont still have a number of fillies coming out of it. There was a recent Group 3 winner, um, so there's still a lot to happen, although nothing really has to change because it's already a huge page. So, yeah, we're delighted to get her. She'll stay here in the Newmarket area, and um, we'll, I've got to get a Deauville tomorrow, but uh, when I get back we'll be uh, picking a stallion uh, sharpish for her and, uh, as I say, yeah, for an owner breeder. Another pedigree steeped in Judmont history to prove popular was lot 2123 Mizzen Mask Mare Obo, who was knocked down to Eamon Riley of BBA Island for 290,000 guineas. The daughter of Grade 1 winner Flute counts on illustrious producer Eva Luna in the pedigree, herself the dam of Ledger winner Brian Baru, Great Voltager winner C Moon, and the dam of Derby winner and champion three-year-old Colt Workforce. Having missed out on the draft's top lot, Richard Brown of Blandford Bloodstock managed to gain some recompense when signing for Time Tunnel, an invincible spirit filly from the same family as Time Saver, being out of her half-sister and Group 1 winner Timepiece, who he secured for 260,000 guineas. Well, we went a long way on the filly before, um, which is obviously the same family, and um, actually in hindsight to buy her for 260000 we were, we were delighted. We, went, we weren't quite underbidders on the one before, but we, we, we went a long way on her, so to buy a daughter of a fantastic race filly with a huge amount still to happen in the pedigree, we were delighted to get into it, probably getting into a slightly younger piece of the same family.